Hello my wonderful collectives. Welcome to my channel. This is Slavik. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right my wonderful collectives, let's take a look at your new life, changes in your life, what is changing in your life, what blessings are you about to receive. Okay, we have compass. Compass, meaning you know exactly which direction you're going. You have your destination set. You know what you want. You know who you want. You have a set track, a set destination. Okay? That's a good thing. Mm. However, sure, a lot of talks. There's a lot of talks about you. Constantly. Yapping, tweeting. Uh, you know, I feel like the society have different opinions about you. Some are impressed. So they have a lot of good things to tell, to talk about you. But there's also some that are gossiping. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So a lot of talks. Some good, some bad. You're a hot topic. Hot topic. What else? Okay, hot topic, and we have some sort of tower, some sort of organization. Organization is waiting upon you. This is often represents a uh, judicial, courthouse, um, government organization. And of course, we have Lily. So you are pure of heart. Despite an individual's attempt, try to slander your reputation, ruin your reputation, you still remained pure of heart in that specific organization. I'm gonna go one by one and I will clarify it. Exactly what destinations uh, are you going? Where are you going? Okay, what's happening in your life? Clarify the compass. Compass, it's the right direction. You're going the right direction. You're taking the right direction. So I want you to know that if you doubt whether or not you're on the right path at the moment, the answer is yes. This is your path. So don't get sidetracked. You have the path. You walk on that path. So this is more of advice from oracles. That you are on the right path. You are on the right path. Clarify that one. Yeah, we have princess of wand. See? You're looking. You're looking. You're projecting. You're projecting on the long run. You know exactly where you're going. Okay? So, um, the Knight of Wands is about some sort of new beginning. The Knight of Wands is also the card that you're looking on a long run. You're considering your wishes. You're thinking about what is best for you and what do you want. Okay? So, in this beautiful card, uh, we have a female looking on a distance. Right, because it's still not quite yet, but you can already see the end result, and the end result is redemption of your name, proof of your innocence, success, happiness. But at least you know that that water is floating, meaning you're within the flow. You know where you're going, you know what you want. Okay, we have a female here holding two roses. Roses has always been a symbol of love. Uh, so maybe it is you're looking for a, someone special in your life. So once again, you're being loyal to this person. Even if that person not currently physically with you at the moment, you are still being loyal. You're waiting for the right person, for your true love. Okay, so this is will have two interpretation for some of you. That you are waiting for someone uh, to be with um, forever. And meaning you are in, in, in a state of anticipating and waiting. And for some, this is also represents that you just projecting on a long run. So if you meet a partner, for example, somebody asking you out on a date. And you say, well, I'm not going to go on a date. Because deep down, you know, this is not the right person for you. So you giving rejections, 
I'm not going to date you because you're not the right person for me. So if you kind of more or less already know what you want and you know who you want. Okay, this is, this is a great, wonderful card. So the oracles advise you to, like I said, do exactly what you're doing. Do not hurry time because you will still go in accordingly to your destiny. <clears throat> now, well, I'll clarify one more card here. Who are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Destiny. See? Again, compass. <laughs> Same thing. You're waiting for the other half. See? We have two people here holding hands. We have compass and we have a compass twice. You know who your soulmate is. You know. Okay? So you are waiting for this person. You are waiting for your sweetheart. I'll pull one more card. We have legal matter. Legal. Legal matter is not always represents legal matter. Uh, this is also represents justice, and justice represents fairness. Uh, justice also the card of of. Um, um, Karma, destiny, okay? And we have proposal, proposal. So you're waiting for an individual to be on a long run, to be committed to you. That person you are waiting for will propose to you, okay? Will propose to you. So in other words, you're waiting for a long-term commitment. The easy hookups, come and go type of relationship is too draining, First of all, for you, okay? In particular, if you're a female, if you're a feminine, and if you go engaging in a sexual activities with other partners, it drains your energy, okay? So you being intelligent, you being smart, you having self-value, you know that you're not going to settle. You're not going to settle for nothing unless it is truly the person that you are destined to be with. And there is a partner that you are destined to be with coming towards you you know it you feel it okay you can almost see them you know who they are and you're simply uh waiting for this person so there is a proposal here you could be a single parent second card for today birds birds represents talks represents gossiping a lot of gossiping about you, some good, some bad. So let's take a look. What talks are around town about you? What is this talks? Some female over here from a distance potentially watching you. One of them, female. Princess of Swords, but she's talking nonsense, okay? I cannot say that the Princess of Swords is a card of like a major, major talk, like, you know, minor, you know, out of boredness, nothing to do. So if I have nothing to do, I will start, uh, you know, slandering somebody, mostly out of jealousy, sounds to me, jealousy. So uh, this female could be on a distance from you. She definitely dislikes you. She has her uh, little uh, arm ready, swords ready. So she's definitely aggressive. She's judging you. She's gossiping about you. But you have to understand it's out of envy. It's out of envy. This individual's talking. Yeah, two of cups. Two of cups. Potentially talking about how uh, something to do with your past relationship with two of cups and six of swords, how masculine potentially walked away from you you know it takes two to break up first of all it doesn't take one person to break up 
you know, just in case this individual doesn't know how breakup works, uh, people don't just break up because relationships are good or happy. It takes two to break up. So I don't know. She's just probably uh, stupid in that aspect. But uh, she mostly talking about some sort of relationship of yours. I'm assuming past relationship of yours. And how the person have walked away. And then apparently you, uh, by the night of sorts, are trying to seek revenge. Because uh, softly said, quote, she got dumped, end quote. I mean, you either stupid, because she cl clearly sounds very stupid to me. Uh, because like I mentioned earlier, it takes two to break up. Okay? It's often if there is an issue in relationship, meaning both people feel it. But, you know, she's trying to feed her ego. She wants to feel better. She has to say something. So on and so on and so on. So a lot of talks about your past relationship. Judging your relationship, your past relationship. And particularly the ending and the fact that you wanted the revenge or you are seeking a revenge. Let's clarify it. Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Well, see, the card is not telling me anymore. So this is it, right? But also, what the card is telling me, that um, the masculine, if the masculine did walk away, right? Your your ex. Then he chose in money. Ten of Pentacles. There was a was financial benefit. Yeah, potentially, there was a love towards you. Okay, you could, you could be more beautiful more passionate, um, better than her. But what she had is money. So, I mean, what she should clarify, if she says she's gossiping about you, about this masculine, quote, dumped you, end quote, that's why you're seeking revenge, she should potentially understand that the only reason why masculine walked away because you offered him finances, okay? There was money here. If you take a look closely at this uh, at this card, there's a masculine, there's her, okay? We have here a cat. So masculine asked her for something, or she offered him something for money. Now, it's a big difference between two of cups, which is a relationship based on feelings and love, versus financial stability. So masculine have chosen financial stability over love so if this individual that is gossiping about you she might as well tell the truth exactly what happened because to me what it appears like is a financial benefit the masculine left for financial benefit not because of true love but because of money see offer there was a pentacles here there was an offer Proposal of finances, some sort of investments, and there she is, Queen of Pentacles, that is talking. Money, right? Money, investments, offer. This is all money. See, there is a two female here. Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. Together they worked. Uh, they definitely contribute to the fact that masculine walked away. Because they whatever was offered to this ex of yours, they could have not, he could have not resist. You understand? It was all cards showing me here money. Money, money, money is primarily. All about money. It's a good financial investment. It's a good financial deal. And that's exactly, like I said, masculine have walked away. Or, well, or you both broke up, whatever the case may be. Like I said, it takes two to break up. Breakup is not one-sided. It takes two to break up. So uh, <clears throat> what else about this too? So there is a two female here. These individuals are highly to toxic. They're unhealthy people. They're gossipers. Chain down, social media, stalking your social media accounts, maybe hiding 
hiding behind social media accounts they still want to seek revenge right i feel like they still want to seek revenge against you because deep down they're too scared that maybe you and your ex will come back together okay but i don't see that it's going to happen there's no action on your side because we already seen that you already have somebody you're waiting for you already have that person your destiny so you're not gonna go sideways and come back to a traitor a cheater right you're going to wait for your soulmate now for some of you it resonates that you already have that person and you're just simply uh, remaining loyal to this person okay whoever that person is uh, let's say on a distance from you or left for work or maybe in another country or whatever the case may be but you're still remaining loyal to this connection to this divine soulmate connection these lunatic do not understand that because they don't have this information they don't know who you're waiting for right they gossiping lunatics assuming that maybe potentially the reason why you're single because you did you could have not get over that cheater you would not be with this cheater even if somebody pays you a million dollars there's no way but they're so sick and delusional that they they're toxic okay they've been doing this for years they are toxic individuals there is a two female they showed me here who's trying to seek revenge against you they may be potentially pretending to be you try to entrap you try to punish you slandering your reputation hiding creating fake social media accounts hiding behind social media accounts or or creating fake social media accounts to to seek revenge against you to entrap you do you understand how much jealousy this lunatic has towards you how jealous and envious this individual is to continue punishing you i mean that's a sick person however like i said it doesn't matter it doesn't matter let these gossip or gossip it does not matter what will be the outcome of these gossips and what these lunatics are trying to do at the moment we have fortune we have main female we have privileged lady occupation expectation sudden wells community thoughts journey and child well the cards doesn't even want to tell me okay the only thing the cards telling me that the wealth are coming towards you success are coming towards you and this new special connections are coming towards you my my oracles does not even want to uh scan the sociopaths at all at all okay these individuals these females here will be busted for their games and what they did against you and what they're still doing against you king of pentacles see yeah, i see they're 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 trying to set you up that's what they're trying to do providing falsified information complaints they may use your name to provide false it's kind of like identity entrapment or identity theft when your identity could be potentially stolen in order to set you up and cause you problems but this is fake right this is fake we see in the judicature here okay so we know already that justice will be served legal matter right so these lunatics are puffing and huffing have to imprison you they have one wish and that wish is to imprison you to entrap you to cause you legal problems to get you arrested whatever the case may be this is a sick female. She is obsessed and delusional in causing you harm out of jealousy and out of envy because she does not deal well with the truth. Okay? She have selected hearing. <clears throat> there is this king of wands potentially could be the masculine. Same thing, right? Same thing. One, one male, one female. All worry about money. There is money here uh, because, like I said, everything was done because of money. Money was offered. And now you expose potentially this community 
of sociopaths and of course they're pissed off they're angry so they're trying to set you up there potentially could have been something done against you on the paperwork as well fraud and corruption fraud and corruption your identity potentially have been used to commit criminal activities by these two jealous sociopathics females maybe some others out of jealousy all right let's see the future here we have love integrity we have some sort of organization what is this about okay so you once cave of swords judgment well it's a place it's a place where where individuals will be judged potentially the gossipers the gossipers the fakes the crooks so there is still a judgment coming upon these individuals that you had conflicts with that doesn't seem to leave you alone that continue on seeking revenge against you because what else they have to do they have nothing else to do with their life right they gotta feed their ego somehow especially the female that understands why masculine have offered her anything because of money so there is still justice will be served judgment will be served okay we have ace of cups for you and we have ten of pentacles we have seven of cups three of cups a new beginning so justice will be served, I'm assuming, upon these uh, gossipers and sick, toxic lunatics that um, stole your identity to entrap you, to cause you harm and pain and suffering out of jealousy. So there's still going to be just, uh, justice done. Uh, these individuals could be currently under karma. The end result for you, once again, new beginning, celebration, blessings. This is for you. You're moving towards victory. Oh. Whoops. Okay, let's take a look here. We have King of Cups. It's a new love. New love for you, see? We have twice confirmation that there's this lover coming towards you. Love, celebration, a new beginning for you. So don't worry about these gossipers. I mean, they can do whatever they think is right. See, seven of swords. They're trying, some sort of female here trying to entrap you. Constantly. This is, could be... And we have King of Swords. And we have Two of Swords. And we have the World Ending. So this is, could be judgment done uh, upon the masculine or too masculine. Okay. Maybe your ex, maybe somebody else, these females involved. But justice will be served here. Okay. This individual will be defeated. Defeated. In fact, by another masculine. By another masculine. So whoever that other masculine is, uh, but this whole community, this your ex of yours, the narcissist who acted immaturely um, as a fool, disrespected you, abused you, lied, manipulated, and of course the females that is with him. Okay. So there is an ending. There is an ending coming to these individuals. There is a sorrow coming to these individuals, and particularly female here, because she's potentially the one that orchestrated everything. She orchestrated everything. So there's karma, there's an ending. There's a king of pentacles, okay. There's a queen of swords, there we go. Queen of swords and king of pentacles. The ending to this community of narcissistic, selfish, 
sociopathic individuals. They're showing me two females, two masculine. Uh, masculine may have mustache. He could be a little older, narcissistic. And we also they also showing me this queen of swords. Okay, both of them cooperated and work on this. So the whole community, like I said, will be will be betrayed, will be detained if they once again violated the law and participated in prohibited activities. They will be brought to justice. Now I will take my oracle deck we made yesterday. message do I have for you be sober be vigilant vigilant okay be sober be vigilant meaning be aware have foresight okay do not allow yourself to be fooled to be tricked as I mentioned earlier you already have a destination stick to this destination do not get sidetracked be aware and be vigilant. Meaning be aware of the sociopathic community that are trying to cause you harm. This will end. So just stay strong. We also have another one. Allow yourself to be a beginner. No one starts off being excellent. So in other words, take it day by day. Take it step by step. Simply be happy. That's the message I have for you. I will pull one more oracle card. And we have inner child. I have inner child. And we have rest, rites of passage. And I have self-love. Love yourself. Okay, love yourself. Be like a child. And what does it mean being a child at heart? It means not to worry about crap. Be like a kid. Enjoy every moment. You know, just love yourself. Love yourself. Give yourself that love you deserve. Be candid and joy. See? Be candid and be joyful. Be happy. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. And of course, once again, while you, you know, being the inner child within yourself, uh, just like I said, keep an eye open. Know that there is a sick, twisted community that acting against you. Uh, these individuals want revenge. They want to destroy you. But once again, do not forget to take care of yourself, to love yourself, to simply be happy and uh, be joyful. All right, my wonderful collectives, this is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.